contacted TDFC. How can we help you? Hello, my name's Francis Maroon. I'm calling to inquire about factoring for my business. Thank you very much. Uh, only too happy to help. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, we have no direct upfront costs and we uh, offer an obligation-free quote uh, at the completion of the uh, meeting if you wish to proceed with factoring. Um, however, in order to do so, we'll need to get some more information about you and your business. Uh, are you happy to go forward with that today? Yes, I am. Thank you. Awesome. Um, how long have you been in business for? I've been in the trucking business for four years. And how many debtors do you have currently in your list and what's the average uh, debt turn or how long do they take to pay? Uh, we have around three and they take around average to 30 days to pay us. Okay. And what is the reasons for factoring? Uh, Why do you need the money? main reason is because we have work, but we've found that we are struggling in terms of paying expenses and uh, truckies' wages, etc., all those other things. Do you have a rough idea of your profit margin? Uh, it would be around 20% annually. Are you up to date with your tax? Uh, or do you have any creditors that are pursuing you at this present time? Yes, we're up to date with our uh, tax and no creditors. What account systems do you use? Do you use my QuickBooks for another? And uh, who does your book work? Is it yourself or do you have a bookkeeper come in? Uh, we use QuickBooks and it's my, under myself that does it. Can I ask the name of your accountant, please? Uh, we've just recently had a change of accountants, so I don't have that detail finalised at the moment. Have you recently had any bad debt? Um, and is your credit file clean? If we do a search today on the business or yourself personally, will I find anything? No, you wouldn't. Yeah, we're up to date. Okay, thanks very much for all that information. Now it's my turn to explain a little bit more about factory. Now, as you've discussed, you're in transport. So, being experienced in this industry, we all know that there is many, many transport drivers out there all fighting over the same jobs. So margins are normally pretty tight and the only real credit is you have are fuel and the maintenance of your vehicles. Now because your margins are tight, it really comes down to how many debtors you have, how much risk you have in the uh, facility. Um, if they're high, then the lenders charge more, mm -hmm. therefore it takes more out of your profit margin. So it's very important for transport industries who do finance that they use this facility for positive rather than evil. Now, we all know that we get behind in bills and we need to pay fuel and wages, otherwise we don't have drivers and we don't keep the wheels moving. However, once we're on top of those things, it's important to understand that factoring is coming off your profit margin, so therefore you have to use that money for positive stuff like either getting another job on the go, maybe hiring another driver, maybe leasing another truck, whatever the means necessary so that for the remainder of the contract of the facility, you've used it for a positive gain. So at the end of the time, you can say to the accountant, right, we were doing 100,000 a month, we're now doing 150, or, you know, we were doing 50 grand a month because we were struggling to pay bills and fuel and everything on time. Now that we're more efficient, we've been able to get all the trucks moving a lot more quicker, with a lot more debtors, and now we're doing 100 grand a month, which has doubled our revenue. Cool. The next thing I'd like to talk about in transport is simply the types of facilities. You've got full service products, you've got single, single invoice products, you've got no lock-in contract products. All these types of facilities cost money, and they have advantages and disadvantages. For a full service product, great for a mum and dad type business, um, those sort of facilities, you know, they do some sort of collections, they do statements, um, they advance 80% of the money into the client's account once the invoice is completed and verified and the final 20 once the debt's paid less any fees. Normally these sort of facilities cost around on average 3% a month, so again, profit margins, are, you've got to look at them really closely and make sure you can afford it. Um, do you need all the added extras? Yes or no. Sometimes the full service product's great because you've only got one to two debtors and like everything in transport, they're not guaranteed. They say they're going to give you work for one to two 
months or one to two years, and we both know things go wrong or the job collapses, politicians, everything affects contracts, and then suddenly you've only got one debtor in your book, your, your exposure's high, they're not funding, giving you full funding on it, and you're back to square one again. Yeah. So the type of facility is very important. The no-locking contract facilities, um, which like give you some sort of um, flexibility, might charge you more, might let you go down to that one debtor, might let you um, factor that for a little while until you get this, another job on the, on the cards or whatever. So very important that we have a look at where you're going, where you're going to be in two to three months, and if the worst case scenario happens, will that lender be able to continue you trading through or will that become a thorn in your side because they won't give you any money, they'll be still charging your fees on your bottom line and eventually something's going to give. Mm. Yeah. Lastly, lastly, what uh, determines your facility is what sort of systems you're running. Now, seeing transport drivers living out of the glove box of their car with an invoice book um, others have um, their partner or a bookkeeper coming in once or twice a week doing all their invoicing up and they're still driving and some transport companies have you know, three to four trucks which have a full-time bookkeeper that's doing it all and it's running quite, all three scenarios are running quite efficiently. However, with different lenders come different back-end structures and some lenders will prefer option number three that I've explained, full-time bookkeeper doing it, you know, being on call, checking invoices, because they'll only verify a percentage of the book. Where the full-time funders who are happy to do um, the single truck driver or the, you know, the mum and dad type business, they are more hands-on, verify every invoice, check, you know, check every invoice, make sure the amounts are fully ready to be paid, and, and they're basically protecting uh, their tail as well as yours so you don't end up with a bad debt. All three scenarios do data searches, so before you do work for a company, you can get them all sorted out. But again, all three of those scenarios have different pricing solely because there's different amount of work uh, required in each facility. And obviously, the less amount of work they need to do, the cheaper the facility and probably the more long-term um, contracts are going to be available for you. Yeah. Okay, where we go from here, um, we'll exchange email addresses. Um, I will send you a Privacy Act. Yeah. Now, that Privacy Act just keeps the information we've discussed today confidential and on file. Um, TDFC keeps your information on file for two years for no other purpose than if you're declined a facility today, we can refer back to it. Or if um, something happens and, um, you know, the wrong facility is met, you know, for whatever reason, and you have a you, you can actually sue us because we put this in writing. So um, hopefully we don't want to get to that stage, so we want to make sure we get as much information as possible. So when you return that Privacy Act, if you can give me a copy of your debtor's ledger, yeah. um, you know, what's outstanding, yeah. information about your debtors themselves, ABN numbers, contact details, etc. the length of the contracts, if you, whether it be verbal or written, just let me know. Know, how long that work's going for. Um, underneath that, you know, we all know we're in transport. It's great one day and some days, you know, it rains or you know, voting, you know, new politician, new contract, they close it down. If we've got the wrong lender and that happens, we want to know that the lender's still going to fund you. We'd hate to think that they put all your funding on hold because you're exposed and still charge your fees and charges and it just becomes a nightmare. So we want to know the lenders are comfortable that if it need be and you got down to one on one, they'd still fund you through until you got another job on. Um, with that, I'd like to, if you can, give me the details of any loans that you have, like transport, uh, trucks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How much they're worth, how much is outstanding. It's all valuable information to know. And if you're thinking about buying another one, that's pretty handy to have on file because I want to be able to refer back to it in six months and see, well, you had two, now you've got four, that makes makes the facility worth sense. A copy of an invoice, copy of a delivery docket, anything of those nature, remittances, anything that makes my life easier explaining your firm to a lender. We want to make it transparent so that they go, right, we can see it all in front of us, it looks pretty good, we'll offer you a loan, we'll offer you a finance facility. Now, other than that, anything you think is required, um, your accountant's details, p 
P&Ls, A&Ls, you know, last year's financials, if you have them, that that would be all relevant to trying to, to get the best facility we can put on the table. Now, once we ha have all that information, um, we'll cipher through it, we'll go through our lenders, we'll try and fit the lenders to fit you. Now, obviously there's a range of different facilities out there, as I've already discussed, so we've, we'll give you up to four options. Normally, if um, you're selected to no locking contracts and full service, we'll give you uh, two of each. If you believe that you can have four trucks or five trucks in a couple of months, then we'll give you probably one of the no locking contract, couple of the full service ones, or one full service, a partnership and an ID. You know, if you think you can get to those sort of figures we're talking about, why not shoot for the stars and at least talk to the lender now and get some comfort around it. Mm. Um, if you do able to get the higher end facilities, obviously they're going to be cheaper and far more beneficial than the full service products down at the bottom. But if you're in a slow progress growth phase, the full service will work in with you with all the, the back end uh, security as well. Mm. Um, once we've gave you those um, lenders, we are not out of the loop. Now, any questions or that you might have about the facility, the lender, the contracts, please come back to us and ask. We're not expecting you to be gurus at the facility. That's our job. You know, our job is to help you understand factoring from the moment you start to the moment you finish. Now, right now you're starting, you're getting money in the bank. In six months' time, you might not need the facility anymore. Then you'll have to address break freeze and, and um, any other hidden charges you have to try and get out of the facility. And it's important you know that up front. If at the end of 12 months you want to continue, will they lock you in for another 12 months? Will they charge you more management fees? These are all things at the beginning that we can actually ask now. And it's important that you understand your um, legalities so that you can come in and out of the facility with ease. That's our job. Now, also with that, if you go forward with the facility, for the life of the loan, our company stands behind you. Now, if you get frustrated for whatever reason and it doesn't make sense, please don't yell at the lender, yell at us. Because we are the third wheel, we are here to help you get an understanding of why the lender is having problems with your facility or why they're not funding that invoice or why that debt has been eliminated. Because we can ring them up and they'll tell us and we can give you in layman's terms the reasons behind that. Now, lastly, and this is the most important thing of all, is TDFC are here to help you at no, addition, no cost to your facility whatsoever. We have no direct cost to your facility. So please use us if you need us. Very important. I'd like to thank you for your time. Yeah, thank I you. I look forward to getting your Privacy Act signed and back to us with all your information. Yeah. And we hope that this has been a pleasant experience for you. If it has, we love references. Please give us one. Um, and I wish your business success in the future. And please don't hesitate to ring us if you've got any questions. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you later.